I'm trying to decide which book I want to take home to read. I have a book about dogs and a book about cats. Which would you choose? Hmm, this is a hard choice. Maybe I should think about it some more. Do you ever have a hard time making choices? Choices are very important. Do you think God wants you to make right choices or wrong choices? God wants you to make right choices. Let me tell you a Bible story about a king who made some choices. Listen to what happened. Samuel was God's prophet. He delivered God's messages to the people. God told Samuel to name Saul as Israel's first king. Samuel called together all of the people. Samuel said, God has chosen Saul to be your king. There is no person like Saul. All of the people shouted, long live the king. Saul chose to obey God and become king. Saul made a right choice. King Saul chose many strong men for his army. One day, Saul and his men went to battle with their enemy. The enemy's army was much bigger and stronger than Saul's army. Saul and his men were afraid. Saul wanted to give a special offering to ask God for help, but Saul was not allowed to give offerings. God had said that Samuel could give the special offering, but Samuel wasn't there. Saul decided to wait for Samuel to come. Saul waited and waited. He waited for seven days, but Samuel still had not come. Saul decided that he didn't want to wait anymore, and he gave the special offering himself. So Saul said, bring me the burnt offering and the fellowship offerings. Then he offered the burnt offering. Saul made a wrong choice. He didn't wait for Samuel. Instead, Saul gave the offering himself. Saul disobeyed God. When Samuel arrived, Saul went out to meet him. What have you done? Samuel asked. Saul explained that he had waited for Samuel, but decided to give the offering himself. Samuel said to Saul, you have been foolish. You have not kept the command the Lord your God gave you. Samuel told Saul that because he had disobeyed. God would choose another person to be king. The new king would love God and make right choices. King Saul made both right and wrong choices. He made a right choice by obeying God and becoming king. Saul made a wrong choice when he disobeyed God by giving the special offering. Have you ever made a wrong choice? I have too. The Bible says that every person except Jesus makes wrong choices sometimes. Jesus always obeyed God. He never made a wrong choice. Jesus always did what was right because he is God's son. God wants you to do what's right. You can remember the things in the Bible that God said to do. God said to be kind, love others, and obey your parents. You make right choices when you do what God says. Hmm. I think I know which book I should take home. I just remembered that a friend is coming to the library today. He loves dogs. I'll keep the cat book to read tonight so my friend can read the book about dogs. God wants me to be kind. That's the right choice. I'm so glad you came to visit me today. Remember to make right choices and I'll see you soon.